Okay, let's talk about advanced control systems, but we'll use an example you know really well. You've totally been there, right? Cruise control's on, you hit a hill, and the car just slows down. Well, the answer is that cars, like most things in the real world, are non-linear systems. So a linear system is simple. You put two in, you get two out. It's totally predictable. But a car, nope. Its behavior completely changes with speed, the incline, or even its weight. So that's the core of it. Predictable, simple theory versus complex, ever-changing reality. Basic cruise control uses what's called a fixed PID controller. You can think of it as one size fits all. And that single setting just can't keep up. Uphill, it loses speed. Downhill, it can overreact. Clearly, a fixed controller just can't handle these changing dynamics. So, what's the fix? Solution one is something called gain scheduling. Let's call this the smart controller. Here's how it works. Engineers map out different speed ranges and tune the system for each one. So as your speed changes, the controller just looks up the best settings from its schedule. Smart. But what if a controller could actually learn? That brings us to our second solution, MRAC. At its core is a reference model. Think of it as a perfect blueprint of the ideal driver. It's always comparing the car's actual speed to the ideal speed, then adjusting itself in real time. This is what's so cool. It can handle totally unforeseen things, like a strong headwind. Okay, let's put it all together. We can really think of these as the dumb, smart, and learning controllers. You can see the evolution here. The dumb controller is one size fits all. The smart one has a plan. And the learning controller? It adapts on the fly to things you could never plan for. And this technology goes way beyond just the open road. These ideas are absolutely everywhere. We're talking about everything from aircraft flight controls and advanced robotics to our power grids.